Guys, what's up? It's the Electrical Code Coach here, and this is the Electricians in Action, where we get together and we talk about the code every morning before we go out and fight the good fight. So today I'm really excited. We're going to continue down this path of 50%, 80%, all of these different things, and we're going to take it very slowly. So last, yesterday we learned about the 80% breaker rule. Today I want to talk about the single outlet rule. Remember when I say outlet, it could be a receptacle, it could be cord and plug connected, and it could also be a lighting outlet. Now before we talk about this, any of these that are a continuous load, the continuous load rules are going to apply. And we'll talk about it here in just a second. So first let's talk about a single receptacle outlet. I can run a single receptacle outlet from the panel, directly from the panel to a single location and put a single receptacle on it. Now when I say single receptacle, I don't mean a duplex receptacle that has two receptacles on it. I mean a, a, a circular or whatever shape you wanted to have it, but it can only have one spot to plug in at. Now, there's a couple rules there. Okay, so it must match whatever breaker I fed it from. So if I have a 15 amp breaker, I've got to have a 15 amp single receptacle. If I've got a 20 amp breaker, I've got to have a 20 amp single receptacle. And that's going to cover that, and I can go ahead and plug something in all the way up to that branch circuit rating. There's no rules that apply there until I start branching out into one or more, and we're going to talk about those tomorrow. Same thing with a single outlet for hardwiring. We'll call it a hardwire outlet. So say if I had the world's largest garbage disposal, and it was 19.9 amps, I could run a single 20 amp circuit all the way to that 19.9 amp disposal and I can run it and fill it all the way up to the potential of its breaker as long as I didn't try to serve any other receptacles, lighting, or any other type of outlet. It's technically a dedicated circuit and as long as it wasn't going to run for more than three hours. If that circuit was going to run for more than three hours, we learned yesterday we could only fill it up to 80%, which is going to be 16 amps in the 20 amp um, scenario. So I can run a single dedicated receptacle as long as it matches the breaker. I also can run a single dedicated piece of equipment as long as it does not exceed the ampere rating for that branch circuit. 15 amp receptacle, 15 amp breaker. 20 amp receptacle, 20 amp breaker. I can plug in a, a respective load all the way up to the capacity of that breaker if it's a single round receptacle. Also, if it's a single piece of equipment, I'm not traveling anywhere else, I can go ahead and it's not continuous load, I can go ahead and fill it all the way up to the capacity of that breaker. So that is just for today, the single receptacle and single outlet. You also could do the same rules that apply with lighting, but generally when you get into lighting, people are going to classify it as a continuous load, so you're just going to need to follow those rules. All right, so this is the electricians in action. Tomorrow we're going to pick up when you go to one or more locations. And we're going to do the 80% rule, and we're going to do the 50% rule over the next couple days. I'll drop the code references in the code below. You guys can talk about it, and if you have any questions, just let me know. This is the Electrical Code Coach. Let's go ahead and get to it.